In the past few videos, you've seen how easy it is to build your own interfaces using the UIKit components. And in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to uh, make UIKit look differently and make it look the way you want it to look. For that, we'll be using the customizer, which is available on the official UIKit website. Um, in the main navigation, just click on customizer. I've done that already because um, yeah, it might load for a few seconds. This is because um, what's happening here is all based on less CSS. Um, less, oh, it's actually called less JS, right? <laughs> anyway, um, less, if you haven't heard about this, is a CSS precompiler, which means that um, you can set variables, for example, base colors or base margins, and those will be used to generate all of the CSS that you need to make your site look the way it looks. Um, there are a lot of resources available and I'm not going to explain more about um, less CSS um, in this video. So go check out lesscss.org or yeah, just Google for some cool tutorials. Um, the customizer is a tool which um, works in a way that uh, on the left here you see a lot of um, color pickers and input fields. Um, these are the values that you set for for less and then it um, automatically updates a preview here on the right of all the UI kit components. Here we have an overview but we can also navigate to the different um, components specifically. So let's get started. I'm clicking on this um, yeah, color picker here and I'm just going to set a dark background and I'm going to scroll here to the typography section and update my main font color to a to light gray as well. Of course you see there's a lot to be done when you want to uh, completely invert the style but maybe you just want to make a few small changes. Let's imagine we are happy with this change and we want to use the CSS in our project. For that down here you see a few buttons. Oh, I've already selected this before. Um, I'm going to click on get CSS and it's downloading um, the compiled CSS file but also um, I'm going to check the minify um, checkbox and I'm going to click the button again. And now we have two files downloaded. Um, first, this is the complete CSS. Just, um, yeah, probably if you want to use it in your project, you are more interested in the minified version. So I recommend uh, renaming this to, I don't know, a UI kit, my, dot my style dot min dot css or something like this and as you can see this is the complete minified css um, just update your project and link to the css file and it will automatically update on your site so but what in uh, a few days or a few weeks you want to come back and keep working on the style um, do you have to change all those uh, values again um, to go back to the this this version here of course not um, down here you have a get less button so if you click on this it will download a dot less file and in here you see all the values that you changed so in this case we changed the global background and the global font color um, and it automatically includes um, the font path which it, ne it needs for um, compiling your um, your less to css um, next time you oops, next time you um, go open the customizer, just click on the import button. You can upload your style, and it will show you this preview again. And then you can go on um, and keep working on your on your style. Now, one more thing I want to show you is the advanced mode. Um, by default, we have general and a typography and a few button settings. But if we click advanced. Uh, we have access to all the components in UIKit. I'm going to navigate to the alert component just so we can see it more easily. As you can see, it keeps our style here, so that's really nice. Um, and the here you see the alert section. Now we have all the settings available for the alert component. And um, so, of course, we can let's change the default alert box. To dark blue and I don't know pick a light blue for the font yeah that kind of works 
Now you see a more button up here. When you click that, even more fields appear. And those fields have little at signs inside. Um, in this case, it's the margin vertical, so the margin between alert boxes. Um, the at means that this value is actually calculated dynamically based on another variable. So just so you understand what's going on, I'm going to have a quick look in the iQt source code and we'll have a look at the theme. Um, I'm working on the default theme and in here it's the alert component that we want to look at. So this is the alert margin vertical variable. And as you can see, it's set to the value of another variable, the global margin variable. Um, if we want to change this, of course, we could um, do just set it to, I don't know, two pixels or something. And um, notice that you have to, the field has to lose the focus. So just click somewhere or click in another field and we'll, it will update the preview. Now we have a very small margin here, which works, of course. But um, what you might not know is you can also use the complete syntax of this um, less um, yeah, language to calculate this dynamically. For example, I'm just going to refresh this again. This is the a value that we have right now. And I'm going to copy this variable, the global margin variable. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to say, okay, global margin times 0.5. And as you can see, now we have half the value of, um, of the global margin. So if um, in the future you change the value of the global margin, it will automatically cascade through all the calculations to the other variables and update those. Um, if now we download the get less, um, we'll have the new values as well. So that's the customizer. Um, I hope you have a nice overview of what you can do with this. There's a lot to find out, a lot to play around with. Um, and in the future, we might have a look at how you can actually work on those um, custom styles and the custom less files in code. So when you don't want to go to the browser and work on the customizer, you can also do this on your own on your own machine. Thanks for watching.